Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie and this is Ellie Sims. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you. Today I'm coming back to you with the Not So Berry Challenge and this is episode four. And we're starting off on a little bit of a sad note. Uh, Mango got upset with us and he ran away because we didn't play with him for too long. I'm so sorry. Um, it's been a while since I've had a pet run away. So I'm kind of upset about it. <laughs> And um, we also got a new roommate. This is Paka Uha. Paka Uha, I think. I don't know how to say his name properly. I do want to give him a makeover right now. Uh, is he a mermaid? Okay. Looks like he's a mermaid. I did not know that. Explain why he was homeless. And I assigned him the other room on the other side. She likes him because he does mischief and all that. Um, so I'm gonna give him a makeover for his clothes right now because apparently he doesn't know how to dress himself. <gasps> Mango has returned! Where's Mango? Oh, come here, Mango. Where's Mango? Mango? It says you came back. Mango. Maybe he's, like, walking onto the lot. <gasps> there he is! Call him to you. And I need to give him a bath and welcome him back and, um... It's Winterfest today, so we're gonna have a little Winterfest thing, and I'm so happy Mango's back. Guys, I was, like, really feeling guilty because I've not been paying much attention to him. She's just been running around doing her own thing. So welcome him back, and let's give him a bath. Oh. So cute. Let's give him a bath and make him feel better. And I'm going to have her go to sleep and then get ready for Winterfest. Okay, so before I put Armin to bed, um, and I had to do all the stuff with the puppy to get uh, Mango back in a good mood, I decided to give uh, Paka his makeover. Um, He likes a lot of bright colors, and I think he's trans. I'm not sure. Um... Because he has a very feminine look, but he's also a mermaid, so maybe it's because of that. I don't know. But, um, I just put his hair down. Um, I like it better this way. I put it up for this formal and curled it. He looks so handsome. Um, and I just took off, like, his, um, torn clothes and just gave him clothes that's not torn. This is his party. And swimming... Of course, swimming, he's going to turn into a mermaid every single time he swims, so it doesn't matter. Um, this is his hot weather, and this is his cold weather. I think I might choose a different cold. Well, no, this is what he had originally, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I don't want to mess with them too much. I don't want to change what they really fundamentally look like. And he's very pretty. He's very pretty. I accidentally knocked her out of giving him a bath. So give him a bath, please. Sir, we were in here first. Ah. What is it with the bathroom all the time? Can you can you hurry up and do your business? Thank you. I'm trying to. Oh, I had my camera focused on him, so it's going in and out. That was a little trippy. He's like, yes, please. I keep calling Mango a he. She's like, yes, please. Oh, you're so cute. I promise to play with you more, Mango. So Mango is clean and she's comfortable laying through the wall because that's how she rolls. Let me look at this. <laughs> as long as she's happy, you know, as long as she's happy. So I'm going to have her go to sleep. And that way, she can get some rest so that later today, we can celebrate Winterfest. Okay, so I'm having her cook a grand meal for Winterfest. And I'm thinking I'm going to invite Daniel over. And maybe we can spend Winterfest together. Hey, Alex. What's going on? You're not feeling well? Are you hungry? I invite you to join cooking. You guys want to join me in cooking? Uh, 
<laughs> that is so funny. They just commenting on her cooking the whole time. Oh, that's what that was. Listening to kids' music. Okay, okay. That's what she likes. Girl, I didn't put up the decorations. Let me do that real quick. I think I put the decoration box somewhere up here. Did I? Did I? Where did I put the decoration box? Is it one of the things that got stolen? Maybe. I took the washer and dryer out because um, it was going to be too much trouble. So, y'all come eat. And I'm going to invite Daniel over. I'll invite Daniel, Julia, Becca. Okay, I'll invite them. I'll put it right here so he can grab some too. Everyone is coming over to hang out. Okay, I put the decoration box down and we're gonna put up the decorations. Nice, nice. Very simple. Everyone is here. Hey there, sir. Talk about the cold temperature. Oh, he said our kiss. Get to know. Ooh. Let's ask him to be our boyfriend. She wants to throw a party, so I'm going to pin that for later. And at some point, we can search for vampire information. Actually, no. Let's, let's let her come up with a different one. Oh, that boyfriend and girlfriend. Invite him to stay the night so he'll stay longer. Ask about his taste in music. <laughs> we can ask him for his DNA. Let's ask him for his DNA sample. <laughs> he just likes hip hop music. Okay, okay. Let us have his DNA. Dude, dude. We were talking. What what are you doing? What is he doing? Is he going to bed? Well, I guess we did ask him to spend the night. Best, no. I'm gonna ask him about his sexuality and identity. I might set him as LGBT. I haven't said it. Are you gonna ask him? Is it kind of rude to do that? I haven't tried using this mod. And I don't know a whole lot. Most of my friends that I have that are gay, I've known them since we were young. And it's like, never really thought about it. There we go. And he's gone off to be his roommate self. <gasps> he's here. Okay. Friendly introduction. In all my let's plays that I've had so far, he gets here and he starts yelling at my pets. So then automatically I don't like him. So I don't want that to happen. Share winter fest spirit. Oh, Brighten his day. Yes. She wants to make a flirtatious joke. No, no, no. Ask for a present. Because you like that kind of stuff. Oh, Why, thank you. A frosh. What did she get? 
He didn't like it. He gave her a large pet poop. See, why? Why? <laughs> That's so mean. Uh, why? I'm gonna fight you. Can I fight you? Or another gift? I don't want to make it a mean interaction. I'm gonna pretend to be slapped because, you know, that's how you just made me feel like I got slapped with your poop. <laughs> that's funny. Well, I mean, she likes him. I'm gonna give you a gift because you gave me a gift, okay? It's gonna be an awesome gift. <gasps> Wait, what happened? I didn't, I didn't tell him to do that. Is she fighting him for a present? <laughs> what? Did I accidentally click on it? Is, is that what I clicked on? I thought I was giving him a gift. <laughs> I don't know. I'll find out when I go to edit. <laughs> Did I click on the wrong thing? <laughs> well, I wanted to do that. <laughs> Oh, oh, I did click on it. I meant, <laughs> I meant to give him his poop back. <laughs> oh my goodness! Here, here's your poop back. <laughs> I just clicked on it real fast. I didn't mean to beat him up. Hey, this is revenge for Jens and uh, Emilia and like <laughs> the fact that you didn't even give him any presents the last time you were there. Does he like it? <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> That's great. Uh, tell him an unbelievable story and brag about your possessions. Yeah, dude, yeah. Should I make him a part of the family? Tell a dramatic story. Oh, you're leaving? She's just looking at him like, are you really? Like, really? <laughs> I don't think Julia likes him very much, but we might make him part of our social circle. We'll see, we'll see. That would be funny. Uh, Friendly asks to stay the night. Don't leave, don't leave. Oh, my camera, really? Let's see if we can ask him. She doesn't like him. Is she waiting for the opportunity to uh, ask him for her present and she just doesn't feel up to it? Like, what's going on? Oh, I teased him about his hair. Um, can I ask him friendly to spend the night? She kind of wants to flirt with him, which is kind of weird. Ask about his hobbies. She wants to level up in mischief and show off her muscles. Uh, I'll propose a crazy scheme. Show off muscles. Where are you? Show off her muscles that she doesn't have. Girl, what are you doing? Okay, and she wants to compliment someone. Compliment his outfit. What's your mischief at? I'm gonna pin that one. Because that's one of our goals. Mischief is level three. Girl, are you okay? Are you scared of him? Is, is he leaving? 
Goodbye, Father Winter. Goodbye. I think I'm gonna reset her. I think she's stuck. Uh, let's talk about cooking. Have a deep conversation with her because we haven't hung out with her very much. I say so. She just got up and left, and this toilet is broken. So I'm gonna fix it. Oh, we still need to open presents. Okay, so most of everyone, almost that Julia had left, but everyone's getting ready to leave. So I'm gonna open the present. I think Becca B does, but Becca has other family members. I don't know if Julia has other family members, but I might be too late. I started fixing the toilet because somebody broke it, but I'll go finish it after a little bit. But yeah, let's start opening the gifts, guys. Oh, he didn't like his gift? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, he liked his gift. I think Alex is up next. Father went to try his best, but he was no match for me. Now all the presents are mine. <laughs> she beat him. <laughs> She has some alcinite. Nice, nice. See. Cool, that's what we needed. Wait, that's not alcinite. Where's the alcinite? Did I read it wrong? Don't know, don't know. Is it an element? Only one that says I have it new is a flam flamingonium, so. All right, well, we finished Winterfest, and I'm going to have her uh, repair the toilet. And I didn't want to ask him too soon to move in with us, but I think I'm going to ask him to move in with us. And then I'll have him fix the toilet. <laughs> Because I'm worried about not making enough money with her. And she's so busy with work. So. See these are the other guys that I had coming into the house. Like into the game. They're handsome. This one looks kind of weird. Now that I think about it. But it's okay. It's okay. So let me see. I'm going to take all y'all's money. <laughs> do I? No I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> That's messed up. Okay, so we're moved in together. Okay, hang on. Let me check his friendships out. Because I want to make sure that he's not got nobody else on the side. And it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. That's good. And I'm going to assign him the bed upstairs with her. I don't want to try for baby. So assign the right side of the bed to him and assign the left side of the bed to her, which I think is what she already has. And I'm going to have her go to sleep and he can fix all the stuff downstairs. Now I have somebody else to play with mango too. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't see mango jumping on the counters, but please don't do it. And let's send him hunting because he's going to like that. It'll make him happy. Christmas fest has passed. He wants a garden. Be friendly with Aramint. And what's this? Become confident. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to pin that. So clean that up. And I had him join the writer's career. And I guess I'll have him start uh, right away writing. What does he have to do for it? Read books. Not started. So he wants to read a book. So I guess he can read a book downstairs. So read this. I realize I don't have any books in here. All the books are taken out. 
So I'm probably going to have to buy some books. Uh, actually, I'll do that right now. There we go. I just bought a stack of books and I put it in there. That way, all the books will be in there. Okay. Oh, you're hungry. Okay, well, get you something to eat. Uh, I wonder what his skills are. I'm going to make him cook something that's not going to make everything catch on fire. Because I don't know what his skills are. Let me see. He has two, comedy, dancing, fitness, handiness, mischief, two, mixology, five, and programming. So maybe I shouldn't do writing, you know? I shouldn't do writing because he is, after all, mixologist. So I'm going to have him do mixology instead. So find a job again. Stop reading that. Put it up. They're leaving to go to work. It's almost Aramis time to go to work, too. And I'm going to go to work with her today. Because I want to invent stuff. And I need to find the rest of the um, materials. So, let's see, let's see. What was I going to do? Culinary. Let's go culinary and eventually mixologist. Okay. So, we're going to join Araminth. And let him take care of himself. All right, we're at work. And we have to browse the web on a computer, use a microscope, and have the fifth breakthrough. So I know I need two breakthroughs for my next promotion. And I need to kick somebody off the computer. Ma'am, ma'am. Can I, can I have the computer, please? So browse the web. Okay, so... She wants to ask a co-worker for a medal. Hey, Angela. Can I have a medal? And then we'll do some research. Ooh, we finally get to upgrade the sim ray. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, where is it? Oh, we have a present for Mango. I forgot to open it. And where's our sim ray? Ooh, a fossilized sim hand. That's lovely. Thank you, Mango. <laughs> okay. Okay, so upgrade the sim ray with transform object. There we go. Oh, now we're not even getting an animation. Like, okay. So put that in our inventory and let's go transform a chair. Preferably one someone is sitting in. Oh, she got out. Well, let's transform this chair. Into a worse chair. <laughs> well, Julia went to the bathroom. I don't want to have a conversation with her right now. Gossip about co-workers with Becca. I mean, that is one of my favorite things to do. Let's find Becca. I was busy looking for her and she was right in front of me. Okay. Hi, Becca. Let's gossip about that guy over there whose name I forgot already. Girl, let me gossip with you. Gossip about coworkers. So many options. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, I do look like I need some coffee. Yeah, tired. She's telling about how she has to get married soon, and she's stressed out a little bit. I think she is a little stressed out about it. So, yep, married for money, but she really wants some money. Ask a co-worker for a crystal. We'll go get something to eat in a sec. Just hang in there. Ask her for a crystal, please. Thank you. And you want to tinker. So let's go tinker on here. Actually, let's go fix the com... Let's replace the computer. I'm not fixing it. Okay, let's go tinker on here. Go on. Okay, we're done tinkering. And we're done doing our stuff for the day. Did we get our breakthrough? We got one breakthrough, which is fine. 
I'm going to have her go upstairs and get something to eat. And I think for the rest of the shift, I'm going to uh, analyze and try to get more elements. Okay, so we're home from work. And because she has been woohooing, she did have a uh, take a pregnancy test. Oh, girl, girl, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> She did have a uh, take a pregnancy test, but it's gone now, so I'm going to assume she's not pregnant. Oh, look at Mango sitting in the puddles of water. Isn't she cute? <laughs> um, I'm going to leave it here for today. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you all have a good one. Oh, and come back and see me again. Bye.